Vintage Antique Flea Market Day is my very favorite day of the month. I live for it. I can't wait to see what amazing treasures might be lurking around every corner. Every month is different, so I quickly assessed the situation and noticed there were lots of tables with price tags. And I know how much my YouTube family loves to see price tags. So I decided to focus on those first. Hello, I'm Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you love thrifting, vintage, and antiques, hit that subscribe button because this is only part one and we do this every month. Check this out. This is the first booth I stopped at. 50% off, everything negotiable. Look at these gorgeous frames. The fake ones online started about, I don't know, $30, probably for an eight by 10. I didn't see a price tag on some of the lamps, but just about everything else here at this booth has one. Okay, I need help doing math. Okay, so these two also are really and I said, no, every, I mean, it's 20 bucks, 20 bucks. I know, everything's 50% off, so you figure out. Okay, 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 okay. Remember all of these prices are half off at least because they're also negotiable on top of that. Usually that means the more you buy, the more you save. So you pick up a bunch of stuff, you get your half off on all the items, and then you get an even better deal because you're buying a bunch. If you're wondering where this flea market is located, you can find the address in the description box below this video along with my channel and a list of my recent videos. There are plenty more of antique vintage flea market videos for you to watch. In fact, I even have a playlist if you're really committed. I also have playlists for thrifting and yard sales and you can feel free to binge watch all you want. <laughs> If he makes a mistake, I will make good with it. We'll figure it out. Thank you. This gorgeous lamp has been converted to electrical. $25 after the discount. Not even joking. Well, first one we added then for stuff. It's all the same way. No, I know. Yeah. You know, Everything in the booth is 50% off the mark price. Okay, nobody wants Shaw's ice cream right there on Welcome In a Way Out. That came from Shaw's ice cream. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I met the lady that her husband made all the chocolate stuff and from the molds and stuff like that. Now the, there was on El Camino and Millwood. We lived on Millwood Street. And when I saw you, you have a wonderful day. I wasn't sure what you were doing. I wanted to say Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. Okay, glass Hello, gorgeous. I wanted this entire set, but it was way too early in the day for me to start hauling things around. I really need to get one of those wagons that people pull around, but as long as I've been coming here, it just never occurs me to get one until I'm here. I wish they sold them here. That would be really smart for somebody to do. When I go to the vintage antique flea market in San the San Francisco area, Alameda actually, they rent shopping carts there. So you can rent a shopping cart and then use it the entire time that you're there and you return it at the end. I have no idea why they don't do that here, but I really wish they would. Sometimes, as long as you're north of Shaw, you're okay, or north of Herman, you're okay. Yeah, it's like, okay, good be 
he went to Sonoma State and played for Bonham. I'm like, did you see it? Uh, there go. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I got a new bike, and I locked it up like crazy with this massive chain. They sold a seat off of it. You know how hard it is to ride a bike without a seat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it is tiring. <laughs> So many crystal candy dishes. I know we have a lot of people that like those out there because I do read your comments. Oh my word, I want it, I want it, I want it. I cannot believe the price on this baby either. $100, half off, $50. And could probably negotiate a little bit more. Why don't I have any room left for furniture in my house? I could cry right now. This East Lake Satie is a stunner. I already have one at home, but it's just gorgeous.
Okay. I'll just wrap it up for you. How's that sound? I think it's I think it's special. I think you got it. I'm not sure about their faces. Oh, you don't you're not super happy with them? Um, they're not happy. They're not happy, but I don't want them <laughs> smiling, right? You don't want them smiling. Any Hobart fans think, out there? That's what they're looking at right now. Uh, this vendor nice. was so amazing. Sure, He's with customers well. at the moment, but he agreed to um, be on camera and tell us about a few of the items at his booth. That is so rare here because they get so busy so fast, they hardly have the time to talk. And when they do, a lot of times there's music playing in the background that I can't put on YouTube, so I can interview them anyway. This is a really rare treat for me to be able to do this. My last name is A-N-D-E-R-B-E-R-G. I'm on Facebook and I put all my stuff online before it goes into my store. So my Facebook friends get first dibs. You can send me a friend request. Nice. 1940s, so pre-World War II. Um, the designer's name was Joseph Inwald and it was for Barillac Studios in Czechoslovakia. This is high deco case glass um signed in the traditional and then signed czechoslovakia here uh, 1926 to 1928 that's what i would date it uh, um, this one's great this is by gamboro and pogi this is from murano italy and it's not signed but it's attributed this is called scavo oops this is a scavo glaze where they make it look like, like it came out of excavation. That's gorgeous. Yeah, and that's gold fleck, 24 karat gold fleck. Oh, wow. Those copper balls are... Oh, yeah. good. Oh, the, with the lava glaze, that orange lava. He sells on Cherish, too, and he gave me the information on camera, except that my phone did not record it for whatever reason. Very disappointing. But the minute that I find him on Facebook, I will pin a comment to the top of the comment section so that you'll have his Cherish information as well. Is it the same kind of prices online, or...? What's that? It, do you have the same...
still feel bad about my old typewriter but it's Oh yeah, uh, vintage and antique. So that just happened. That guy did just walk by with a, what are those called, a sieve? I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you do. It was hilarious. This booth was gorgeous and one of my absolute favorites this time. It was absolutely stunning. French trifold mirrors and silver shined so bright you could see your face in it. We'll come back and look at price tags in a minute, but... I warn you, close your eyes if you don't like the higher price stuff because they were definitely not giving this away. This vendor hand selected and cared for all of their items and it shows. You rarely find the best deals at the most curated booths. However, odds are you're gonna get glossy eyed when you walk into one. Anyone else losing their breath over this Art Nouveau mermaid carafe? Oh my, stunning, so gorgeous.
Ooh, I was ready to jump on that mirror until I saw the price. Lovely cranberry glass here. There is quite a bit of really pretty cranberry glass in part two of this video coming towards the end of the month. So just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe so that you can get notifications and you don't miss the next video. And we do this every month. We meaning me and my YouTube family because this would be half as much fun without your company.
have a whole box of that. That's there's what a I whole just box. Read. See, there's a whole. A whole. All the pieces are in there. Wow. I just. I didn't want to take them all out. They're so nicely wrapped. Yeah. It's amazing. Yes, yeah, <laughs> two fifty for all that. For the whole set. Yep. It's beautiful. I just. It is. I don't have any room anymore. Yeah. And then I have a bunch of these goblets too. Uh, Tiffany Franciscan. Okay. So those are highly collectible too. I don't know. Very pretty. Yeah, I got 12 pieces of that one and 29 pieces of that one. A ton of ornaments too, huh? So, very pretty. Oh, that was in the 50s. What's cool about it, that was in the, was in the 50s that place was. Right? I hope you saw lots you liked. I know I did. I don't have a haul at the end of this video because this is a part one. The haul will be at the end of part two, which will be coming out hopefully on the 31st. Unless it has problems uploading, it will be out on the 31st. Thank you so much for coming with me and keeping me company. And until next time, happy thrifting.